So let's move on from layout to navigation now. So the purpose of your navigation is twofold. First of all, it's going to help your user uh, get to where they need to be. And secondly, it's going to provide orientation for where they are now. And we're going to be working towards a navigation structure which is intuitive and predictable. And our goal is for new and returning users to be able to figure out how to get around your project really easily. And this graphic here just sort of illustrates some of the questions that a user might be having and encountering uh, when they're looking at a poorly structured navigation. So we're going to talk now about specifics of building out a good one. So as we're building out our navigation, you want to keep in mind the difference between categories and utilities. Categories are your content. This is the links to the main sections of your application. Utilities, on the other hand, are links to important elements of the app that aren't necessarily part of your content hierarchy. So this is things like helper screens, logging in, logging out, system time, etc. This is all a utility. So I'm only mentioning that because you want to make sure that you're not mixing these two types of links in your navigation structures. So this can cause confusion, as we saw before with the eye tracking studies, because users are going to be looking for these two different types of links in two different locations, and they'll be confused when they're mixed together. And this image on the right is just showing um, our sample brewery HMI, the before section, and this is the two, this is showing the two types of navigational links here being mixed, and uh, they should be separated. We'll get to that at the end of the webinar again. So let's discuss the different areas of placement for your navigation. We're going to go through the top three positions based on user expectations and sort of the space constraints of an HMI. So the first example we're showing here is the top header placement. Now this placement is ideal for your primary navigation because for one, users are already looking here for their navigation. Additionally, the header is separated from the page's content, which reduces confusion between what is navigation and what is content. Now, one down downside here is that the uh, horizontal space is a bit limited, but this can be an advantage because it sort of forces you to organize your information a little bit better and cleaner. Uh, the second recommended placement is the top subnav area. This is similar to the top header area, but just below it, which gives you a little bit more space because it's not being used up by things like your utilities or maybe your logo. And this is a useful space to use when the header space isn't quite large enough for all of your primary links. And again, it's, it's still a powerful position for your primary hierarchy because this is where users are already looking for their content. Now finally, we have the side navigation pattern. And this is a really common pattern, uh, which is especially useful for when you have quite a few links in your project. Uh, this is because it has a vertical structure which supports scrolling. So when your list becomes way too long to fit within your window, uh, your users will be able to easily scroll down and get to where they need to get. Now, with a complex project, you're likely going to be finding yourself combining these placements to form your navigation structure. So here are some examples of how this may come together for you. First is the header side nav combination. And this is a really common structure where the primary navigation is in the header and the secondary navigation is seen on the left in the sidebar. Second, we have the header and subnav combination, which is also really common, but is only really useful when you have kind of a small application with not a lot of top level links because of the uh, constrained space there. Now down with number three and four, we're getting into sort of more complex variations of what, what and how you can combine these things. But there's really no limit to what you can do just be sure to keep in mind uh, that you're going to want a clear hierarchy and try not to add any unnecessary clutter.